Good morning, my friends. This is Becky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about my good midlife crisis where I am journeying through my 40s working very hard to get my poop in a group. In order to do this, I have been working on my physical, my financial, and my mental health. And today's video is going to be a financial health check-in. Today is Friday, May the 5th. Um, and today I am going to be budgeting out the money that you see on the screen. It is $363.56. This is a rollover from last week's paycheck, and it is like a dollar's worth of cash back from my PayPal MasterCard. Um, if you are new, welcome. I'm super excited that you found my channel. I hope that you find this interesting and um, possibly useful for your own budgeting journey. And if you are not new, welcome back. Thanks so much for sticking with me and coming back and following along with my journey. Um, it's 7.30 surprise i actually was ready to film this video earlier um but i needed to get a bunch of old videos off of my computer because my computer was doing the laggy thing i'm not very good at cleaning off um my old videos from my computer and so it gets super laggy and i needed to uh to to clean up and uh clear off my backup onto my like backup hard drive which is still connected because i just finished so i needed to get my uh backup hard drive get my videos off of my computer as you can see, I just disconnected it. Um, sorry about that. Anyway, now we need to go because I have to start working at 8 o'clock. So I have 30 minutes. I have 27 minutes to film this video for y'all. So if you're not new, the money that you see is a rollover from last week because I am paid bi-weekly, but I budget weekly. Um, this is a way for my brain to wrap around having money every week um, because if I see a lump sum in a category, my brain tells me that I can go ahead and spend that money and then I have to go like two weeks without any money in that category. Um, so I spend it weekly um, and then I have a category at the bottom of the screen that I will show you when we get to the end of the video where I hold my rollover. Um, if you're familiar with YNAB, which is the app that I am about to use to budget out my uh, to budget out my paycheck and my money, then you will know that every dollar needs a job assigned to it. And one of the jobs that I assign to my money is to be next week's money. Um, so it does get a job assigned to it. It's just it's just to be next week's money. That's its function. Um, so what I do right before I start filming is I move that money up into the ready to be assigned. And uh, that is the money that I will be budgeting out today. Next week, Lord willing, I will get my paycheck and I will roll whatever I have left over from this week, which will not be very much money. Um, I will roll that into next week's paycheck and then we will uh, budget that money out. There are a couple of changes that I made just last night actually and uh we will get into those and then actually there's just one change that i made last night also am eating my breakfast because i always run these things late and don't have time to eat breakfast um i have celiac and i have to be gluten free and i have discovered these which is upside down if you are gluten free these are really good these nature's bakery big bars the blueberry ones i haven't tried the raspberry ones i'm not a big raspberry fan but i love blueberry and these are really good um i got those from thrive but i've seen them everywhere so um just they're not paying me i just really like them anyway <clears throat> getting started on what we're doing i'm going to shrink myself up into the corner so y'all can see my screen if you are not familiar with ynab and you are looking for a way to budget your money i highly highly recommend this app and there's a link in the description box below that will get you um get you 34 days for free and this will uh, let you try it out. You won't even put in a credit card or anything. So there's no way they can trick you into a subscription if you don't want it. You try it out. If you like it and you do decide to sign up for it, you'll get an additional 30 days for free if you've used my link. Um, and then I will also get 30 days for free. So thank you very much. Um, if you don't like it, you just don't sign in again. It goes away. They don't have your credit card information. They can't charge you. Um, but if you do like it, I hope that it works for you as well as it has worked for me, even half as well as it has worked for me, and it can change your life like it's changed mine. That's the only time I have for this spiel. So you'll see the very first thing right here is this YouTube premium. I asked a couple of weeks ago when I did my May budget setup if anybody had YouTube premium, if they thought it was worth it. Um, I had quite a few responses 
everybody overwhelmingly said yes they thought it was worth it yes it included YouTube music which if you're familiar with me I was paying $9.99 a month for YouTube music and it was set to renew this week um, so I've decided last night it was after I closed out my budget so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of today's budget but technically I already paid for it last night so I'm just gonna cover it um, and because it my my YouTube yeah, music was already paid through the ninth. I had like a dollar something credit, so it wasn't a full charge. I had like a dollar, I forgot what the the credit was, but it was a dollar something credit toward the cost of it. So I got a, it's slightly less this month than it's going to be going forward, and then it will start charging me on June the fourth. Um, Eleven ninety nine a month is what the price is. So. It was only $2 more a month than I was paying for just the music alone. This includes music and I get the YouTube premium so I can continue to support my creators um, because I do like to watch the ads for my creators, but the ads are getting so long and they're like three and a half minutes long um, for a lot of the ads. And when you're watching like a 10 minute video and you have two, three and a half minute long ads, I'm like, I'm watching more ads than I am watching video. and. I want to support my creators and as a creator I especially want to support creators not that I get I don't have a thousand I'm not monetized um, and so I but I still want to support creators I want to watch your ads but the three and a half minute ads for a, a 10 minute video is and I know that creators have absolutely no control over what ads go in their videos I'm not blaming the creators at all um, but anyway this is a way I can do that without having to watch all those ads. Um, and I think that maybe YouTube is doing that on purpose. I don't know. But anyway, I was already paying for the music. So it was only $2 more a month to do premium than it was to do the music that I was already paying for. So I decided it was a no-brainer and I'd go ahead and do that. Um, so I'm going to have to put this down with my bills. It's in the wrong section. So I'm going to move this down. And if you're not familiar with YNAB, this is how easy it is to move your sections around. Um, and I put the date there so I can know where to put it. It's due on the 4th. <laughs> so I will put it there. But for right now, let's get started on my categories. So. I have $363.56 to budget out. That is like almost $100 more than I thought I was going to have because when I closed out last week's budget, um, my rent was a little bit less because of um, the way it worked out. I Nathan had I had purchased some things throughout the month that Nathan owed me for. Um, like the bills were a little bit less than we anticipated. I also, what else did I not do? I don't remember. That might be it. That's the only thing I... I don't know. I don't know why I have so much money left over. Anyway, I like $100 more than I thought I would. So I'm not going to complain about it. But um, I still won't have very much money at the end of this. I was going to have $12, so now I'll have like $90. So it'll be nice. Um, anyway, dining out, I give myself $50 every week. I almost ended this with more with uh with a lot of it but um i decided to go out for nachos last night so i i did use almost all of it groceries i did go one dollar over nathan's parents came into town this week i forgot that they were coming into town so i did have to make a little extra grocery run um so i did go one dollar over in groceries but that's not bad considering unexpected guests come into town well, they were expected. I just totally forgot about them. <laughs> I knew they were coming. I just forgot. Um, but every week I give myself $75 for groceries. I give myself $10 for fun money and $60 for ecclesial expenses. That is $40 toward the um, actual donation for my church and $20 for a meal after church. This week we are going out to our church camp that our church owns, which is out near Fredericksburg. Um, we have a lot of we call our little individual churches ecclesias and we have a once a quarter meetup for all of the ecclesias in texas um well anybody's welcome but normally it's just the ones in texas come because it's in texas um that we meet once a quarter at the campgrounds and um it's it's my ecclesia's turn to host so we are going to we're going to be hosting the potluck so i'm going to be bringing things out there um and we were going to be doing a potluck and so we will not be going out for dinner afterwards so i'm not going to be putting the additional 20 in there i'm just going to be putting the 40 for the actual donation so this week it's just getting 40 and not 60 because i know i'm not going out for a meal afterwards 
I do need gas. I only have half a tank of gas, but I already have 50 in here. I only put gas money in my um, in my budget on paycheck weeks, which was last week. Um, so I don't have any money going in here. That is the only thing going into these. The rest of these are either m things I fill on paycheck days or once a month. And that was last week for both of those things, actually. Last week was my first paycheck of the month, and it was my first um, it, when it was a paycheck. Um, this reimbursable is groceries that Nathan is going to be reimbursing me for for his half of the groceries for the stuff I picked up for when his parents were here the other day. Um, and this, the way we do this is this is how my rent ends up being less. I put this into Splitwise, and he will pay me back. Um, it will just come off of the rent that I owe him for... Um, at the end of the month. So this is honestly, it's probably going to be here until the end of the month. I may end up covering it um, just because I hate to see the negative on my account, it, like on my YNAB, it drives me crazy. But technically, he will pay me back this at the end of the month. Um, it's possible he might go pick up something and then I'll owe him and then it'll just wipe itself out. We'll see. Um, the bills that I have to pay this week. So my paycheck weeks, I mean, my budget weeks go from a Friday to a Thursday because I am paying on Fridays. So today is the 5th. I'm going to cover all of my bills that are due from the 5th through the 11th, um, which is next Thursday. So everything on here. So again, like I said, the YouTube premium, um, which technically I paid last night, I'm going to cover this. So it'll be $11.32. Um, and then I need to create a target, but I don't exactly know how much $12.99, I mean $11.99 plus taxes. So I'm not going to create a target until I know exactly what that that is going to be. And I will know that next month on the 4th. On um, my AFLAC, this is my um, supplemental. I have a cancer policy that covers myself and my niece. Um, this I pay for out of pocket. The other AFLAC policies that I have come out of my paycheck, but for some reason this one was not available through my company, so I kept this one. Plus my niece was my dependent when I started this. Um, my sister passed away, as I've mentioned in previous videos, and my niece was living with me when I signed up for my AFLAC policies. And because AFLAC believes very strongly in their cancer policies, they give you any dependents that you have when you sign up for it are covered for free. You do not pay for them. They are covered for free until those dependents are 26 years old. Um, so I pay for myself and my niece was automatically covered until she is 26. If I were to sign up for a new one, she's no longer my dependent. She's 22 years old. She would not be covered. So I'm not going to get rid of this policy um, until she's at least 26. And then and then I might consider it, but I don't think I ever will get rid of this policy because if I were to renew it, I would get a higher rate. I'm, I'm locked in at this rate um, as long as I keep it. So $37.57 is the rate that I have until I cancel it. Um, and I, I don't plan to cancel it because you never know. Cancer is just everywhere. Um, Lord willing, I never need it, but I don't want to ever get rid of it. Um, Adobe Acrobat Express is what I use to create thumbnails and things. That is $10.81. And that is all I have. I don't know what I just did. I did the wrong thing. I don't want to do that. This is what happens when I try to hurry. I want to hit the underfunded button. And then Adobe Acrobat Pro is due on the 8th. That is $21.64. As much as I love Adobe Acrobat Pro, I think this is something I can get rid of. Um, I don't use it like I used to. I'm going to have to talk to my friend that I share it with and see if she's okay just taking it over. Um, it's something that I was mainly keeping to help her out. I do use it to create my um, budget mom book, but I think I can just go ahead and create it the way I like it and then save it and then just use that for the next couple of years. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to keep it because it's $21 a month. I just don't know that it's worth it for me. And then, like I said, YouTube music, I am, uh, I am, I've canceled this, so I don't need this anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and hide it. I do not want to delete this category. So here is a uh, YNAB tip. If you delete this category, it will go away. Like everything you've had in this category will go away forever and it will not show up on your report. So you do not want to delete a category that you've ever had anything in. So I just want to hide it because I have had 
For years, I've had YouTube music. Um, and so I do want it to show up on my reports. I just want to hide it, which moves it down to the bottom in a, in a hidden category. I can't see it unless I like go search for it. But it will still show up on all of my reports that I run. If I were to delete that category, it would not pull up on any of my reports. And then my reports would not be accurate of what I've actually spent. Um, fun fact. At least that's the way it used to be. And I'm assuming it's still that way. I haven't actually deleted a category in years, so I don't know if it's still that way, but I think it is. And that is the last thing I have to cover um, out of this check. Nothing else is due because this next one is the 15th. Also, if you prefer, and you don't like to do it this way, I do it old school way because I prefer it this way. This is the way I learned it, and this is the way my brain prefers it. But they do have a way now where they have this, and it tells you um, when it's due. So right here, tells you on the 31st, on the 17th, and how funded you are and when it's due. Um, I don't like this view, but if you don't want to put the date that it's due in here um, and you just want to see this this way, they have this option. You can toggle it right here. Um, again, I prefer to do it this way, um, but I know other people prefer it the other way, and that's why they built it that way, so whichever way you prefer it. Um, I just don't like all those graphs and bars and things. It's too busy for my brain. I, I don't like it. So those are all of the bills that I have to pay this week. And that is actually all I have. Everything else. That's it. That's all I have. Oh, are we done? Did we do it? Y'all. We did it, and it's only $7.48. Okay, so instead of $12.74, I have $107.22 left. So we did it. Um, I'm very happy with that. Instead of $10.81 for YouTube Music, I put $11.32. So that was just a little bit more than I was planning. All right. All right, so here is where I am going to, this is my weekly breakdown. This is what I was talking about at the beginning, where I am going to roll money into week three. So next week for me will be week three of May. Um, May is a five week month for me. And I am going to move this $107.22 that I have assigned to week three. So like I said, every dollar has a job. I have assigned this money, this $107.22, I have assigned it to be week three's money. So it's no longer available to me. It is all the way at the bottom of my budget and I've shrunk it. So it's out of sight, out of mind, put it away. I can't look at it. And um, I have assigned everything. All of my money has a job. All of my categories are ready to go. And y'all, I think I am ready. So today, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, would have been my parents 40 what how old am i i will be 43 this year so it would have been my parents 44th anniversary today and my dad did pass away um in 2020 so i am going lord willing my plan is to go in this afternoon and surprise my mom and bring her some flowers and take her to lunch she does not know i am coming so um you won't be able to so spoil the surprise because this video probably won't go up until after I've already done that, or at least I'm already on my way. Um, but I have been, um, my boss is super awesome and let me work through my lunches this week so I don't have to use any PTO because I'm super low on PTO because of my cruise. Um, so I am taking a half day and I am going to uh, go in and surprise my mom. So I really want to go ahead and get my day started so I can make sure I finish everything that I need to finish. Um, before, before 11 o'clock, because I'm going to leave work today at 11 o'clock and, uh, go in and take my mommy to lunch today. So she doesn't have to be alone on her anniversary, but I hope y'all have a fantastic weekend and I hope you have some fun plans and I will talk to you all next week. I talk, I will talk to y'all later. Oh, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet and are interested in following this or any of my other journeys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Okay, now I will talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Bye.